past performance uh, was something that obviously we kept in mind given we've had a very good 3 years uh, finishing in the playoffs all 3 years uh, finishing third then reaching the finals and then coming third again but topping the league so past performance was one uh, future potential uh, and the fact that all four of these players are only growing in stature growing in performances both for their franchise as well as for their national teams so that was the second um, the third was leadership abilities uh, but yeah the decisions were very difficult because we had so many uh, choices and uh, yeah it was it was extremely difficult to to make these decisions but in these four uh, i truly believe we have the core uh, with two top order batsmen uh, one all rounder and one extremely uh, you know extremely quick upcoming fast bowler i think we have a very good group now to build the rest of the squad around so i think i can start with uh, rishabh pant i think uh, as a leader as a wicket keeper and as one of the you know best left handed batsmen in the world today i think rishabh truly brings together uh, multiple attributes Uh, that any team requires with aksar i think his his dual ability actually he's an all-round cricketer whether it is his fielding uh, whether it's his bowling whether it's his batting and his bowling everyone can see his figures you know even in in the last ipl and a couple of ipls even in now he's playing for india in all formats so i think aksar is really developing and growing as a cricketer and and i think he brings a lot with with prithvi i think uh, everyone knows how talented he is his strike rate is something which makes him a very big impact player and he can get delhi capitals off to a flying start inside the power play not his last one i think uh, you know uh, extreme pace he's a bowler that brings fear into the opposition's mind and that's someone who can bowl at 150 uh kilometers per hour plus is is a is you know an asset to any team oh it was it was hard it was heartbreaking uh shreya sayar uh you know absolutely heartbroken about having to lose him uh having to lose uh, shikhar dhawan uh you know with having to lose a kagi sorabada uh having to lose an ashwin um, all of the players rahane um uh, I mean, you can name Stoinis. You can name so many of them. Um, it's just that this this auction process is is, is built like this, and uh, I think going forward, I think the IPL really needs to look at it because it's it's really not fair that you build up a team, you give youngsters a chance, you groom them through your setup, and and they get opportunities. They play for your franchise, then they go and play for the country. Or, or their respective countries, and then you lose them after three years. So, I think, I think uh, IPL needs to have a relook at it. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, it gives uh, you know everyone uh, a chance to reset uh, in some ways and bridge the gap if there is any between all the franchises. And uh, all I can say is that I wish all the players uh, who were with Delhi Capitals all the very best. Uh, you know, Shreya Sayar, uh, Shikhar. Davan, uh, all of them, um, and I can say that with whatever remaining money we have, uh, we're going to try and bring as many of the Delhi Capitals players uh, back in the auction as we can. Uh, and our efforts are going to be to build the same type of atmosphere and team uh, that can go on uh, and play playoff cricket and go on a challenge for the IPL and hopefully bring Delhi that elusive trophy which we're all working very hard towards.